Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. It's Friday, and that means it's time to fire up a free-to-play game here on Big Dave is Cheap. That's right. It's finally the debut of Free-to-Play Fridays. This is the regular series that will be eventually replacing the Weekend Roundup as my chance to talk with you guys in a sort of weekend review and vloggy fashion. But the main focus here is going to be to introduce you to Free-to-Play games. Since this was the first episode and I didn't want to have to talk too much about what game I was playing, I picked one that everybody knows, and of course, that is Team Fortress 2. So, wow, lucky shot right there on that spy, I will take it. That is why I spam grenades constantly, because every now and then you just hit a spy. Wonderful. So besides playing cool free-to-play games, what else are we going to do on this show? Well, we are going to talk about all kinds of stuff. Like I said, it's my opportunity to connect with you guys. Did I have something interesting happen during the week? Did I read some really cool news? Is there a project I want to highlight? Is there an amazing sale going on? Anything, everything is fair game. You're going to have free-to-play game footage in your face and my mouth assaulting your ears. So it should be a really interesting journey, and I invite you all to come with me on it. So let's start things off with the website, Big Dave is Cheap. You been there? No? You haven't? Yeah, I figured, figured as much. So, I just recently put up an article on May 24th called Bundles of the Moment. There are currently two interesting bundles going on, sort of trying something different, these two bundles. And uh, that is a breath of fresh air, if you don't mind me saying. So, first up, we have Group E's, who you may know from Be Mine Bundle 1 and 2. They are coming at you with Build a Bundle. They have 12 games that you can select from. So go ahead and mix and match, get the games that you want, get the games that you don't already have pay what you want, asterisk, pay what you want, up to a minimum. Three games for three bucks, every game over three, gonna cost you an extra 75 cents. So if you want all 12 games, that's gonna run you nine bucks. Of course, that's a massive deal for those games, less than a dollar per game. Some of the games are great, some of the games are mm, okay. Many of the games you will already own if you purchased the previous Be Mine bundles. A little bit of a weird strategy here that they are using so many of the games that they already actually had. I would suspect that's probably because the first two Be Mine bundles weren't extremely successful. I mean, they did well, but probably nowhere near as well as they thought that they would do because some of the goals that they had listed on the original Be Mine bundles were like 50,000 bundles and 100,000 bundles and stuff like that, and they didn't come anywhere near that. I think the first bundle might have sold 60k, and the next one was like twenty-five or 30000 That's just pulling numbers off my head, and that could be completely and totally wrong, so feel free to correct me there. Citation needed, as they would say on the Wikipedia. So anyway, there are six new games here. If you, haven't, uh, if you have bought previous bundles, if you haven't, there are 12 games. It's a mixed bag. Head over to BigDavisCheap.com. Check out the article. Uh, you can also head over to Indie Game Magazine. I uh, sort of stole a little bit of information from them, didn't steal it, you know, I just, I noted that I took it from them, but uh, there's some interesting stuff there. Uh, standouts from this bundle are definitely post-apocalyptic mayhem, uh, exotic, and I would probably say if you're a fan of Point and Click's Dark Fall, Lost Souls, and I'm really interested in Caster, which is a very odd-looking, behind the third person behind the back, running around, casting spells sort of game, kind of cartoony graphics. I don't know, it intrigued me probably enough to make a purchase. So that is the Build a Bundle, so check it out. Also, we have the... Oh, finally, we have the debut of Bundle in a Box. They have been teasing Bundle in a Box for over three months now, and it has finally debuted with the Adventure Bundle. These are all point-and-click adventure games, and there are some good games on there. You've got Gemini Roo, and you have the uh, Been There, Dan That, and Time Gentlemen Please series from uh, Size 5 Games. A brand new game is debuting along with this bundle called The Sea Will Claim Everything, and this is the first bundle to have a text-only game in the form of 1893 A World's Fair Mystery. It's an interesting looking bundle. I think the two most interesting games are the games you get for beating the average, which is Metal Dead, which is a zombie apocalypse point and click, and The Shiva, 
which was in a previous bundle. Uh, what bundle was that in? That was in the recent Indie Royale Lightning bundle, the Shiva uh, point-and-click adventure where you are playing as a badass rabbi. Very interesting, very interesting lineup. I do think Bundle in a Box made a little bit of a mistake with how long they teased this bundle, because frankly, by the time that they actually got down to debuting the bundle, I really wasn't all that interested, and I think that it kind of backfired on them. I mean, I, I hope that they get a good buzz because they're doing an amazing thing called the Indie Dev Grant, where for every 15,000 bundles they sell, they will put $2,000 into a grant fund, and then at the end of the bundle, they will give all that money to an indie developer selected by the public through a poll. So that's pretty darn cool, and I really think that if, if nothing else, they deserve your attention for that. I will buy this bundle, despite, again, not feeling so hot about the amount of time that they sort of left us hanging, waiting for this bundle to come out. But it's cool that they have an exclusive game debuting, and it's also pretty cool that they're doing the Indie Dev Grant. So I'm pretty happy about that bundle all in all. Take a look at it, you know, Decide for yourself if it's something that you are interested in. Now, the last thing that I want to hit for you guys, because I don't want this video to go much more than 10 minutes, is the Because We May sale. Head over to BecauseWeMay.com, and what you're going to find there is an amazing gathering of independent developers who have elected to put many, many, many games on sale just because they can. They are celebrating digital distribution platforms which allow developer control and freedom of pricing. That's a pretty damn cool thing, and they're they're hitting up some of the major stores. You've got your uh, your iOS app store, you've got your Google Play, uh, you have your uh, your Steam, of course, and then you have Indievania. Uh, I believe Desura is in on this as well. So it's, it's really, really cool. It's really great to see a bunch of developers coming together and saying, we're going to put our games on sale to celebrate the fact that there are some great digital distribution sites out there that are very flexible and work with us. So for instance, if I uh, head over to the Steam section of the website, uh, you know, this is just sort of the, the, little, uh, the little blurb that they have on the page itself, kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Steam is very responsive to price change requests from developers, working with them and adjusting the price of games permanently or temporarily. Steam also encourages developers to conduct promotions outside of Steam by issuing digital coupons and or coupon redemption codes, allowing developers to reach gamers directly through their own channels and on their own terms. So there you can see, some people are not so hot on Steam, maybe there are some downsides to Steam, certainly there are, but that's a pretty damn big upside. The ability to empower indie developers to actually be able to control some of the pricing of their game. Yeah, Steam's still going to take their cut, but it's pretty cool that they're not jerks about the rest of it, huh? And just a quick glance at the list of games, you're going to pop a boner, I'm telling you. If you don't already own them, there are so many games here that are must-haves. World of Goo, Osmosis, Scorgasm, Darwinia, Jamestown, The Binding of Isaac, Super Meat Boy, Gish, Costume Quest, Stacking, Braid, Psychonauts, Cave Story, and on and on. Check it out. Different tabs for different marketplaces. Make sure that you're shopping from the correct tab. You can also just head over to Steam and just look at stuff that's on sale and you'll see a lot of games. There are some good things on sale, but not quite on the amount of a sale that I would like. Something like Vessel, for instance. I would really love to own Vessel. Unfortunately, right now Vessel is not quite discounted as deeply as I need it to be for my cheapness. It is currently going for $9.99, which is $5 off its normal price. Gotta come down a little bit more, Vessel. I'd love to play you, but you're just not hitting my sweet spot yet. So go ahead and uh, hopefully cross my fingers that that one will come on down for me. So, becausewemade.com is the place that you should be all weekend long because there's an amazing, amazing sale going on over there. Definitely check it out. You have until June 1st to take full and complete advantage of this sale. It is just an absolutely amazing event. I would say if you can, buy directly from the folks. You know, some of these direct buys are still going to be Steam codes, but uh, in the instances where you can buy directly from the developers, buy directly from the developers because that's going to mean that they can get the most back from that, that they're getting less of a cut taken away from them, less money taken out of their pocket, and more money going into their pocket. So it is a fantastic and wonderful thing, the fantastically wonderful Because We May sale. Check it out. You need to know about it. So guys, this has been sort of an 
a feeling out process, if you will. A first episode attempt for free to play Friday. Man, that Sentry Gun owned the hell out of me. So it's a first a first attempt for free to play Fridays. I want this show to be conversational. I want it to be the sort of show where I can come on and I can talk to you guys about whatever. You know, something's going on in my life. Something's going on in the world of gaming. I want it to be that sort of chat show. Uh, you know, if you've ever seen C Nanner's videos where he just sort of comes on and he just kind of talks about something that's on his mind. That's the kind of thing I want with a little more structure and a little more focus pointing towards free-to-play games. So we're going to play different free-to-play games every week. It's going to be an interesting experiment. Hopefully you'll go along with the ride, for the ride with me. And uh, your poor score there, God. And, uh, and hopefully uh, we can make this something that everybody enjoys. I would love to take your questions. If you want to email me at bigdaveischeap at gmail.com, I would gladly and lovingly answer those. Other than that, I think we are going to be done. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.